What's up guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to take a look at another new board. This is the OwnBot W2 Pro. And sadly, nobody talks about this board. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys my first impressions on this board and see if it is a good uh, belt drive board. And let's see why people forget about this board right here. Okay, so this is a belt drive electric skateboard. This is the improved version from OnBot W2, which is a board from 2018. It is a good budget belt drive electric skateboard. But now they improve it and called it OnBot W2 Pro. So let's take a look at what is the differences. First of all, this is a 700 US dollar board, meaning that it will compete alongside the x Flex Flat Strait, the Backfire Zillet, the Lycan like Swift, so the number one thing that you can notice is that this board came in standard with the cloud wheels. This is the default wheels that own board will give you. This is the 105mm cloud wheels, which is a good wheel for absorbing road vibrations. Taking a look at the design, own board usually copy other nice design like own board W2, they copy boosted design, they are AT board, they copy the evolved GTR design but as you can see this design here is a bit dull in my opinion it doesn't look premium or it doesn't look nice and as you can see on the bottom part it is all black in color but I really like this belt motor cover right here the color is nice but they should use this on other parts as well to make it a black and red board but they didn't so this board looks in terms of aesthetics, this board doesn't look really nice. Okay, now let's talk about specs real quick. This is a flexi deck, and this board is a 12S Hobbywing ESC board. It is using this remote right here. There's no smart turn on. You need to turn on uh, via this turn on switch right here. So 12S is becoming a new standard now. Every board is using 12S battery. And speaking of battery, this is using 12S 3P Samsung 40T battery. And this will give you a range of around 25 to 30 kilometers, something like that. The trucks looks like a Paris clone trucks. I'm not really sure. Oh, it seems loose. But that is all I can say about the board for now. Uh, we're gonna find out if it rides well. Uh, let's have a quick spin and I'll be giving you guys my first impressions while riding this board. And also, this is not a full review. If you want to see the full review, make sure to check out Electric Skateboard HQ channel. The full review is going to his channel. This is just my first impression. I just want to talk about this board that nobody talk about. So let's go. Okay guys, let's go. Let's have a spin. As you can see here, the deck is flexible. Maybe the same flexiness or maybe even the same deck as the own board W2. Which is a pretty good deck. So, let's go. Oh, quite powerful uh, acceleration. And this is uh, mode 1. I'm using mode 1 for now. Yeah, pretty strong acceleration even on mode 1. But I'm noticing that the front truck is too loose. Uh, it is too loose for me. The cloud wheels is really helping with the road vibrations. As you can see, this is not smooth tarmac. This is a uh, sidewalk or cement pathway but the board right very nice I like the trucks but it is a bit loose which you can adjust of course okay let's change to mode number two whoa the acceleration is pretty powerful yeah pretty powerful acceleration because it's just using 12s sharp turns easy uh, this feel like the W2 but with much higher acceleration power nice Woo. let's go slightly on grass change to mode 3 wow no problem whoop, 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 whoop. whoa whoa Whoa. Powerful top. Whoa. Yeah. 
real nice on the acceleration strength and of course it is smooth too because this is hobbying ESC hobbying ESC is very smooth in terms of acceleration and braking okay let's try the brakes okay quite smooth but not that uh, strong one more time brake not bad not bad so far so good, the W2 is already a good budget belt drive electric skateboard uh, Now that it is more powerful and it is using cloud wheels, uh, it is even better 700 US dollars with cloud wheels So that's one thing that you can take note Because if you buy the X-Ray Flex Riot, it's around 750 US dollars Same with Backfire Zillet, 750 but you're not getting cloud wheels you need to add around 150 US dollar for the cloud wheels kit uh, they do not give the normal street wheels for this board uh, so you are stuck with cloud wheels but of course you can change to any type of wheels that you want you just need to get the right pulleys let's go one more time on the grass and we're gonna wrap up this video Whoa. okay as you can see guys this is not an all train board do not expect this to be an all-train board <laughs> it's just a board with uh, hybrid wheels the cloud wheels is not an all-train wheels it is just between street wheels and uh, all-train wheels Woo! okay guys that's it let me wrap this up real quick at this bench right here Woo! okay that's it guys I just want to show you guys the onboard W2 Pro um, pretty decent board not decent but pretty nice nice board but own board mess up the marketing side uh, they just straight away release this board without any hype or any teaser so comparing this to the Wago 3x the SU Flex Riot and the Backfire Zillet this is a nice board but it is missing features and the polish isn't that good doesn't look premium but you're getting cloud wheels with it so that's up to you to decide which you want more the features or the cloud wheels right here for 700 US dollars not a bad deal at all uh, the acceleration is smooth of course the braking is nice the turning and carving is pretty nice battery is using good cells the Samsung cells the ESC is good 12S hobby ESC but the polish just isn't there is into the level of the X-ray Flex or the Backfire Zillet. So that is all I have to say about this board. I think that's it. That is the board that people forget or the board that people don't even notice at all. The own board W2 Pro. I am Ziyad Khairi. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and I'll see you guys in the next one.